Hey everyone, welcome back to another review video, guys. Today we're going to be reviewing Marvel Studios' very first holiday special, and that is The Werewolf by Night. This particular MCU project, I, I'm just going to say it blank. I was not looking forward to this. I thought that this was a dumb thing to do. I was cool with the holiday specials, but as of right now, Phase 4 just hasn't been doing so well with the only really good projects for phase four being wandavision loki sung chi and the legend of the ten rings and no way home every other project has pretty much been all right to pretty much just not really good now this holiday special is really interesting because it does explore the horror the monster side of the mcu which they do reference the um the avengers at the very beginning of this whole thing and the way that this film is shot honestly i'm just gonna say and michael jakin um, the um the guy who scored the batman um soundtrack and did some of the rogue one did some spider-man th the fact that this is his first actual film director debut is phenomenal this guy not only directed he also did he also scored the film and it, it is great this film is shot in a kind of early 1950s kind of monster-esque film all, all the old monster movies were shot is how this thing is shot and um, one of the things that they were able to get away with a lot in this film is the amount of gore and blood i was really surprised of how blood and how much blood and gore is in this and the fact that they were able to do it in black and white and the fact that they were able to get away with it is in my opinion phenomenal this was it was kind of insane for me to see how much how dark they were going to go with this and this is one i really liked about it is because of how dark it went and had no problem going into the horror, how dark it was going to get, how much gore. And in this movie, the fact that it is a pretty much a PG-13 movie, they did, it, the, they did the amount of blood, the gore, the limbs getting cut off perfectly. And honestly, with the way that Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, I, what I was hoping it would be, is what I was... Is what I got in this holiday special. Now the acting that was in this movie was also pretty cool. We had Laura Donnelly and Gale Gracia Bernal. I, 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 I butchered that um, that actor's name, but the, pretty much the actor who plays Jack and the actress who plays Elsa Bloodstone. Um, these two actors did absolutely phenomenal and. Uh, is great and the fact that the werewolf in this movie isn't cgi literally the only bits of cgi that we get is the blood and man thing who for the very little bit of screen time he got was great um <laughs> but every pretty much everything in this holiday special is what i wanted with a darker mcu story this is what i like i said was hoping to see in multiverse of madness Yes, we did get some of the Sam Raimi horror, but they did not go as dark as I wanted it to go. So, and, and luckily enough, Michael Giacchino did phenomenal, and I want to see more um, short films directed by him like this. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with Blade in the future, and particularly with Jack, a.k.a. the werewolf, and... Iris, no, not Iris, Elsa Bloodstone. I can't wait to see what they do with these characters and Man-Thing as well. And, yeah, I, I have no complaints. Werewolf by Night was an excellent holiday special. And I can't wait to see what comes next. So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to give this holiday special a 10 out of 10. In my opinion, in the top 5 MCU Phase 4 projects. And personally, for me... Like, personally, for me, it's in the top five. So, anyway, with that being said, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.